Canva versus CapCut, which is better for video editing. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be doing a quick comparison between Canva and CapCut. Now, I will be comparing the desktop version of both of these tools. CapCut is more so primarily known for their mobile use. However, they do have a desktop version, and I like to compare them on the desktop version to give both of these platforms an equal chance. And if you compare them on the mobile versions, their features more or less are pretty much the same as well. So let's get into it. Now to get started, let's open up Canva and I'll open up a video over here and we're going to be focusing on video editing. So let's go ahead and upload a video. I will go into Canva and then go into uploads. So we're going to go into uploads over here and then click on upload files. And then I have this butterfly MP4 that I'm going to upload over here. Now in Canva, you have a lot of pre-existing design templates that are video based. You have a lot of elements, you have a lot of animations you can integrate, a lot of different things that you can create on Canva. Now, if we go on ahead and go into CapCut, CapCut has been known more so for their video editing features. They have blurring features, background removing features, all of that is integrated into CapCut. They also have a few templates, but I would say most of their things are geared towards a mobile or a portrait size. Now let's go on ahead and click on a new video on CapCut as well, and I'll show you guys what it looks like to start creating on CapCut. So go on ahead and click on upload over here and we're going to edit the same video so you guys have a apples to apples comparison. So once we have opened up our video on both of these platforms like this, I will make it fit into the frame over here and then it's pretty much the same on CapCut. Now if I go into CapCut, you will see on the right you have a few different basic tools and then you have some smart tools as well. Now if you click on the video, you can click on background and choose a background color. You can also go on ahead and choose to remove a background as well as apply a blur feature. Then you have some smart tools where you can retouch the image if it is of a person. And then you also have auto reframe where you can choose to reframe your video. You guys can see that auto reframe is something that you don't find for free in a lot of other tools. And auto reframe actually enables you to take your subject and focus upon that subject. So if you have something like this butterfly, so I only want to focus on this butterfly. I don't need the rest of the frame. So I can do this. And then what this will do is that this will automatically take this butterfly and focus on that. So you guys can see this is our butterfly over here. And now the frame is moving up a little because the butterfly flew up and then out of the frame. Now this can be a really useful feature for object permanence if you're trying to show, you know, if you're trying to show a person walking and that person is walking through a really long, you know, a really long shot and you want to zoom out at the end of it to show the distance. Those kinds of shots are magnificently done on CapCut. If I was to compare a Canva alternate, there is none. Canva does not have any video editing feature that would enable you to have a object only focus. They do have have a background remover filters the basic trimmers for video editing then they also have graphic elements you can add animations you can add different types of text drawings and projects you can integrate as well as some of their pre-existing templates now if i want to take a look at some of the other features of CapCut, you can integrate some stock videos stock ai characters stickers gifs but all of that can be done with canva as well you have audio options you have text options captions that you can create plus with CapCut, you have auto captions where it will automatically recognize the speech in your videos and then it will caption it automatically. You can also correct those auto-generated captions if there are any mistakes. Then you can write your own manual captions as well for Canva. If you go into Canva and go into apps and you search for caption over here, you have a specific application you can integrate where you can add some image inspired captions, but those are not auto captions that you could generate. You do have a audio transcriber, but that is just another app you integrate into Canva. You don't have it directly built into Canva itself. 
Now moving on to the next features, we have transcription, we have video effects that we can add into our video on CapCut. So you guys can see we have the zoom lens, we have edge glow if I want to add that. So now we have edge glow where the edges of, you know, the elements are glowing. So I can insert that over here. We also have, you know, blur, opening and closing, these amazing lens effect, these filters that we can add. We also have the stars, gleaming stars, TV effects, glitching effects, love effects. Now, personally, I really like the lens based effects because they look really nice in execution on the video. So if I want to add, you know, create my video in a fisheye view. I want to, you know, make it look creative or I'm trying to follow a trend or something. Building those videos in this kind of aspect ratio can be a really cute thing to do if you're looking to promote on Instagram or on any other trendy platform. Now, this will actually take my entire video and convert it from a fisheye POV. Now, if I was to talk about effects on Canva, now if you want to add effects on Canva, you can actually go into the elements and integrate some elements that can help you in building effects. You also have different framing options you can do, but if you take a look at the video editing effects, you don't have a effect that could alter the appearance of your video. You only have color-based effects that you can add. Color-based effects are pretty, you know, they're pretty overused. So I would say that having these kinds of effects is a really big pro for video editing on CapCut. So if I show you guys the same video, you guys can see that the fisheye view looks so different and it just looks different and better and it can be used in many different ways depending on the purpose of your video edit. Now, what about the elements? Well, if I go into elements and I search for basically anything. If I want to search for butterfly, let's say I want to add an animated butterfly so I can click on graphics and then you guys will see there are a bunch of different effects of a butterfly. Let's say I want this one over here and I can even animate this butterfly. So you can go on ahead and click on create animation and then choose how you want a certain element to move across the screen on any point like this like this. You guys can see now our butterfly is moving. This is just one path I've created. If I want, I can go on ahead and click on create path and I can choose a starting point, let's say. So going to be over here and I will flip this as well. Now, once I've done that, I can click on create animation and then let's say we want to, you know, make it move like this. So you guys can, you know, integrate pre-existing elements and customize them accordingly. You also have these kinds of features where if you're building a video and you want to frame it like this, you have these options to add these elements to frame those videos as well. Now, in general, I would say that CapCut definitely beats out Canva as a video editor. If you're only looking for features that are related to video editing and you're someone that wants to use video editing as their primary tool, so, you know, build videos like this or even, you know, create amazing videos for social media content, for your ads, for your online digital ads, all of that can be done way better on CapCut if I was to compare it to Canva. Canva is more so geared towards illustrations, graphics, presentations that are static. So I would say that for video editing, CapCut is the better tool for you. But if you're looking for an all-in-one tool with some basic video editing features, then Canva can suffice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.